Hey folks, it's Monday. Hey folks, it's Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. This week's theme is top favorite movies, so it's very straightforward. I'm going to tell you my top favorite movies, talk about them a little, and then, yeah, that's it. Um... It's not in any particular order because it changes a lot. Like, favorite songs and favorite books, they just change as I grow older and watch different ones and read different ones and all that stuff. But I'd say, like, two of my favorite you've probably never heard of were uh, Jeff Who Lives at Home and Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Jeff Who Lives at Home is a movie that it was just like, if you believe in, like, everything happens for a reason and everything is connected, that is a movie you want to see because um, Jason Siegel, who's the main guy in the ki in the movie, he keeps seeing the name Kevin and he keeps following it and good stuff happens from it, bad stuff happens from it, but it all wraps up in the end. There's a couple scenes that could have been deleted from this movie. It was when they showed his mom and all that, but I guess it tied along well too, but it just wasn't a main point for me. Seeking a friend for the end of the world has Steve Carell as the main character and Kira Knightley as the friend he finds. Only a movie that I want to go had to see again, not to get it, but just to get everything because I was so like focused on certain stuff that I think I missed some of the movie. But I still think it's a great movie, and if you haven't seen it yet, you should go see. Now my other movies include like all the Disney ones because I. Disney's good, like Aladdin and Hercules. Um, but my all-time favorite Disney movie has to be The Fox and the Hound. Um, I don't know. It's just a good movie. I remember watching it as a kid, and I just love that movie, and it will probably be one of my top favorite movies of Disney. Another movie that comes always in the top five or ten or whatever is always Inception. I saw it in theaters, and we I left because I saw it with my friends, and we left going, what the heck just happened those last two and a half hours? Um, I have it on DVD now. I watched it two or three times, and I think I understand it, but I, I'm not honestly sure. I don't think anyone understands what goes on in that movie. Another favorite movie of mine would have to be Kick-Ass. I saw it in theaters like the other ones. And I loved it. I own it on DVD now. They just started filming Kick-Ass 2, so I can't wait to see that. That kind of rounds out my top favorite movies. And Benjo, I will see you tomorrow.